you understand the power that you carry you carry a lot of power so as a small content hello everyone hello family i am Mirat the nisi welcome to my channel by the title of the video you already know what we're going to be talking about today but before we get into this video what do we say i am chosen thanks if you are new to my channel this channel is about healing and learning people pleasing habits living in the moment and becoming better versions of ourselves so if you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe button down here and be part of the chosen squad thank you so much i appreciate you so i want to introduce a segment of affirmation into my videos so today's affirmation is sorry what parts of me are in need of self-love and self-acceptance please do share your thoughts and your own piece on the comment section down below without making this too much about myself i would like to share something that i need self-acceptance with about me so i need to accept that i can allow low energy to easily overwhelm me and i need to remind myself that i have the power over my emotions Finally, you have made it to the part that made you click onto this video. If you have made it to this far, you are a star, you are a star, you shine bright like a diamond, pat yourself on the shoulder because you are just amazing and one day you will be the reason why I am able to pay for my bills to improve the channel and get more equipment for the channel i really really appreciate you thank you so much okay i said it i said it the real reason why you have clicked onto this channel is because i want to share some mistakes that small content creators make in my opinion all right thanks so in my opinion, the first mistake that a lot of small content creators make is that they tend to create content without actually identifying their market. A lot of creators come onto YouTube, they start a channel, but they don't know who their market is. Are they creating for people who enjoy watching video diaries, which is your vlogs where a person shares their day-to-day, -day, what they do, what they get up to, their lifestyle, or something in those lines. Or are they creating sit-down videos where they are more informative, they are more like podcasts, they are sitting and chit-chatting with their audience. So that is one big mistake that we do, and that sometimes we don't even know who are we marketing our channel to as the people who love makeup, is it people who love lifestyle and looking at how they can live vicariously through other people? Is it some? Is it the people who enjoy cooking? Is it people who just love quiet, chilled vlogs that calm them down? Or is it the audience that wants to watch people who travel the country or travel the world? Let's go into the second mistake that I see. The second mistake is not being yourself. When you are a creator, you need to be true to yourself. You stealing somebody else's signature style or personality does not help you at all. If anything, it's going to be your downfall. So you can love your Ken Sanisitu. You can love love with Rico. You can love Pamela um, Bele. But if that is not you then you are gonna feel dismally and this is gonna make your channel drop and the 
thing is a lot of us <laughs> i say us because i also started by being somebody who watches youtube a lot and i tend to fall in love with the person's personality so people will click and will subscribe to your channel but if you don't have a personality they are definitely going to leave and that is going to be where you lose a lot of the real people who are going to be your studies so Stick to who you are, be true to yourself, be genuine, and people will come flocking to your channel. So that is one big mistake, or rather the second big mistake that I see that small YouTubers do. Let's go into the third mistake that YouTubers that are small <laughs> do. This is my third mistake that I have noticed, but not only me. I also heard uh, Clinton Dumabube on his channel talk about this third mistake. We want our loved ones to follow us. We want them to help us grow our channel. We tell our friends and family that we have we are becoming content creators, and they subscribe to our channel. But when they see that the numbers are dwindling, when they're slow and low, they then tend to have doubt and they instill that doubt into us and that is very really unfortunate because that will kill your channel the other problem is that they will go and watch your video but not complete it or not finish it or even not even watch it halfway and that is a big no-no because the algorithm will not suggest your videos to other people because that one person that has clicked your video and not finished watching your video tells the algorithm that this video is not worth watching and that will ruin your channel very very much so the suggestion that i will give to you is that avoid telling family members that you have a youtube channel avoid telling friends and family that you have a youtube channel the best thing that you can do for yourself is go out there create be yourself and they will find you so please remember don't share your channel with your friends and family until you have the money <laughs> Just kidding. the fourth <laughs> the fourth um mistake that youtubers make but are you still with me i still following thank you so much if you've made it this far i really appreciate you so let me get into the fourth mistake so the fourth big mistake that small content creators make is that they have this sub for sub culture which is really detrimental to their channel if you ask me because before i even get into like the reason why i say this i have met really amazing people through this method myself i will not take away from that and i really really appreciate them and i don't regret meeting any of them if anything they have been they've become a part of me they've become a part of my family and each one of you i see you as family and i love you so so much but i need to share this concern that i have that small content creators do so first of all a sub for sub means that person is surely a content creator themselves where will they have the time to watch you when they have to film they have to edit and you know how tedious these things are they are consuming they are exhausting sometimes you yourself don't want to film and sometimes the other problem that i picked up is that you go and you subscribe to somebody that you know you don't really like their niche or you are not into their niche and now you are now supposed to go and watch that person's content and it doesn't resonate with you you are gonna kill that person's channel and they are gonna in like in turn they are also gonna destroy your channel because then their views and the numbers will not make sense and that is where the big scare is so my thing is or rather what i would suggest is that start slow create a community and community is the key because the minute you have a community the minute you have people who will back you through and through people who will be diehard subscribers then you are gonna flourish in this content creating situation so please go self to self stop with that sub for sub and be yourself on the internet and people will find you all right period let us get into the fifth mistake that small content creators make lack of consistency baby 
you cannot be on Beyonce's internet and you are not consistent. Come on. On Beyonce's internet? Please. You need to be consistent. I mean, if you are going to be on YouTube, you cannot come here, post a video, especially if you're not even on as an influencer in any other platform. Come on YouTube, post one video, and come back after a month and post another video, and come back about, um, after three months and post a third video. No, that is a big no-no. It's a big mistake. Stay away from doing that. So, I will suggest that you create a schedule for yourself. You need to know, okay, me as... I will make an example for myself. I am chosen. I will ch I will be posting on Mondays and Thursdays. I will be posting long format videos. And then on during the week, I will post two shots uh, or three shots. And um, in a day, I'll post twice. Something in those lines. Because that is something that I wish I did. I really wished when I started my channel, I posted two or three videos a day for at least wait what am I saying I wish I posted two or three videos a day each and every day for five days and then created a schedule where I know that I post on Sundays and I post on Mondays or I post on Mondays and I post on Fridays that way the algorithm knows how to reach out to my people and my people also know when to come and consume my content so please if you're a small content creator have a schedule have a plan and ensure that you put out your content consistently same time same day twice a, twice a day three times a day but be consistent that will be a game changer for you all right right now i'm gonna go into this one i'm very passionate about okay this is the sixth um what do you call it mistake that i see my opinion that i see content creators do the other thing that kills us is that you as a small content creator do not get paid for brand deals either i see a lot of content creators marketing selling advertising products on their channel and they're not getting paid for it the big channels the people that have uh, big numbers when you see them um, push a product use a product and recommend a product most of the time they are getting paid to actually market that product big companies are getting paid to market those products you might think it's just an innocent little uh, two minute product review but actually you are selling that product to somebody because listen to me you have the ability to influence the next person to buy the thing that you're talking about you understand the power that you carry you carry a lot of power so as a small content creator I'm not saying do not work with brands. I'm not saying do not attract brands. I'm saying be smart about it. Let your numbers grow. Let the personality grow. Let the channel grow first. Once then you have reached that market, when you have reached the people that you need, then you start being very obvious about the product that you use. Then your um, the brands that want to work with you will come to you. And that way you have won the battle. And then you will thank me okay thanks <laughs> so that was my last one let us wrap it up this is the clothing thank you so so much for watching to the end so if you are a small content creator and you have made some of these mistakes please share with us on the comment down below but if there are other mistakes that i have not mentioned and you have made them and you have encountered them and you have experienced them please comment on the section below because this will help someone else who is also an upcoming content creator to kind of get the idea of what mistakes are out there that a lot of content creators do. And trust me, there is a million, there's a million of mistakes. I only mentioned six. There's a lot of mistakes that small content creators make. So please do share. I would really, really appreciate. Please, please, please share your experiences, your mistakes on the comment section down below. And I will really, really and highly appreciate 
that you do that um i appreciate you i can't thank you enough for helping me be on this platform for helping me be someone who's one day gonna have um the ability to resource themselves through this channel i appreciate you you're an amazing individual thank you for watching